We're here with the Coda 251 pedal in green mode to demonstrate how the controller works in a normal situation. The clicking you can hear is just that I'm in the office and it's quite hollow and also the Coda is about half an hour old so the switches are very new. Although we look at three typical applications, in this case iTunes, a PDF reader and YouTube, the pedal works equally well with any program using the same control keys such as GarageBand, DVD and media players, everything really. The modes here may sound confusing, but most users just select the single one they require, green, orange or red, and take it from there. Working from left to right are four foot switches, one to four, where the switch far left beneath the LED is used to set the control mode. This is the switch that sets green, orange or red on the other three switches. During development of the controller, the testers said that after a while they didn't even think about the pedal and it became like driving a car. They just pressed the switches instinctively. Although the controller works on PCs, Macs, iPads, Android tablets, everything really, we are demonstrating it here on a Mac. It functions perfectly with any operating system, including all Windows versions, Linux, Mac OS, and even DOS in a few programs. Okay, here we are in our tunes with the Coda 251 in green mode, and the switches allow us to pause and play. We can also skip tracks. You can also scan forward in the track, perhaps to go to a solo we were trying to play, and we can pause when we get there. This would allow a hard section of music to be practiced again and again, or let a person dictating and typing to stop and start the audio without leaving Microsoft Word all the time. Green mode also works in the background and we shall come to that feature shortly. Pressing the control switch once sets orange mode, and this allows you to move up and down the tracks, and Switch 3 allows you to start and instantly restart a track. If I go up to 5 long years, we've started it and we can restart, 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 restart. I'll just nip to green mode to pause there. By doing that restart, it enables you to keep your hands off the in instrument. Songs such as Layla, Oh Well and Sweet Child of Mine benefit from stopping the need to take your hands off to control the computer and it means you can come in on beat one at the beginning of those tracks. We're not saying you're going to be able to play like Peter Green, Eric Clapton or Slash but it will certainly help. Finally, by selecting red mode, clicking twice for that, we can skip through the tracks and I'll go back to green mode just to pause it. Okay, this is where things now get interesting. Now we're going to leave the music playing in the background on green mode. Select a PDF reader. If I now select orange mode, I can move the music up and down, the sheet music, whilst the music is continuing to play. So obviously you can play along without the need to take your hands off the instrument. Just pause that. At the same time, if we select red mode, we can skip page by page. I prefer that. Some people do, some people don't. Um, it just means you haven't got to flip pages over in magazines and what have you uh, all the time. Whilst the music's still fully controlled, I'll scan forward, pause it, start it, skip it, skip it, skip it. Go to orange mode, restart. Whoops. Green mode in the background. Okay, if I now leave the music paused, I can now come down to you know, an internet browser and we're on YouTube. We can scan it forward, right back to the adverts. Great. Play it. We can scan forward. Pause. Replay it. Essentially, we can use YouTube um, in the way that we were using the music player. Um, this means that, I don't know, fantastic guitar lessons like great players, Justin Sandico, Mojo at 3 chordguitarcom Marty Schwartz. It just becomes an awful lot easier. Pressing pause, fast forwarding. It just makes YouTube very, very useful as a tool. It's easily manipulated. And again, with not having to take your hands off the guitar to do it, 
it, it really makes life easier. It improves guitar playing phenomenally. That's good, isn't it? Um, the actual pedal itself is fully manufactured in the UK from the finest quality components. It comes with a full guarantee. Head over to Coda251.com and Coda251 on Facebook or Twitter and please let us know what you think. We appreciate your feedback and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching the vid. Cheers. I'm going to go back to Slash.